all started in the dense forest with hovering. There was a monkey lost in a strange forest where a group lived. The monkey was confused and felt tired, so he looked for a place to rest. Oh no! Where am I? I'm lost in the strange wood. I'm tired and I have to find a place to rest. He looked at big tree and sat under that big tree. Not long after, the coyote, the hyena, so monkey, Frank. Who is he? I've never seen him before. Ha! I have an idea to bother him. Ha ha ha. Hyena came near Frank. He was very cruel. He had bad intention for Frank. Frank felt scared after seeing the hyena was approaching him. Hi friend, what are you doing? Um, I never seen you before. Uh, I am here for the first time. Who are you? You ask who am I? I am the ruler of this world. Ha 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 ha. Then, where are you approaching me for? You meet me, so you have to fulfill the voice in my star, Matsasa. Sorry, I don't know what you mean. You still don't understand what I mean? Yes, I don't know. Hey, monkey, I'll make you my food and I'll eat you. He screamed for help, but no one heard. Please, can someone help me? You don't need to scream at monkey. Because why? Because no one will hear you. <laughs> Hyena kept getting closer to Frank. Please, anyone please help me. Jeff keeps screaming until you're tired, monkey. <laughs> How lucky monkey was. There were deer, Tyler, mouse, run, and bear, Barnet walking around and hearing his voice. Do you hear their scream? Yes, I hear it. It seems like the sound comes from there. Let's go there. Come on. How dare you, hyena? You come to my area. Do you forget the rules? You can't come here. This is our place. The rules of battle result between bear and hyena not to interfere with each other elsewhere. Why do you come here? We shall ask why you come here. Don't you hear what bird said? Just what you guys. Then hyena laughed them. Hello friend, what is your name? My name is Frank. I am Barnet. What are you here for? They felt sad to hear what happened to Frank. Barnet, Tyler, and Ron began discussions. How if we invite Mikey to live with us? I agree. I totally agree. I feel sad about him. They asked the monkey. We all already discussed. Do you want to live with us? Mm, but... Don't hesitate with us. We can be friends. We can be friends. Okay, I want to live with you guys. Thank you, friends. They become closer as friends and they live together with happiness. However, the conflict arose when a lion Arthur entered the forest where they lived. He had a large body. He was hungry. He was looking for something to eat. Oh damn, I'm so hungry. I had something to eat. After walking around, the lion met with Ron and Barnet. 
Wow, today is my lucky day. I want to eat them to get rid of my hunger. <laughs> Barnet, see there is Arthur, the first lion. All right, let's run away from here. Hey, where are you going? Don't try to run away from me. I'll make you my food at this time. But Arthur failed. A day later, Arthur could not fulfill his hunger. He continued to walk around the forest to find something to eat. After that, he saw Frank climbing a tree. Oh, this is what I'm looking for. I'm so hungry. Arthur attacked Frank to make it a food to eat. When Frank climbed a tree, Arthur attacked him from behind. He failed to catch it. He could only bite Frank's tail. Oh shit! Hey man cave, where are you going? I will eat you. You can't run away from me, ha ha ha. You cannot eat me. There's no way to run, monkey. Down. An idea came to Frank's mind. The Channing monkey. Lion, I cannot be your food. My body is so small that it doesn't make you perfectly full. How dare you? Mm, I know something to deserve. You don't have to lie to me. I'm not lying. Then, what is that? Tell me quickly. You are the king of wood. Why do you want me as your food? I have thin flesh that cannot fill you so much. You have to get more food. No need to make small talk. Hurry up and say. A deer is always a favorite to eat for lions and extra beers that lions try to attack the day before. Frank only thought about his safety. He spoke in his mind. I am safe now. It is a good idea to bring the lion to a deer so I can be safe. Where can I get them? He brought Arthur to the place of his friends. This was the betrayal of Frank. He got lost in selfishness and forgot his friends. When in the cave where they lived, Arthur tied Ron and Barnett. Don't go anywhere, friend. You will be my food. <laughs> Suddenly, Tyler came. He was surprised to see his friends with Bone. What is going on? I'll eat you, friend, or maybe you will also be my food. <laughs> Please, let go of my friends. You can't. They have become my food. <laughs> you can eat me as your food, but this condition, you have to let go of my friends. Ron and Barnett were shocked and did not want to leave there alone. Tyler, please, don't do that. Tyler, don't sacrifice yourself. You don't need to worry, friends. I will be fine. Okay, I let go of your friend and I'll shoot the dumb. Ron and Barnett came out of the cave. Frank was amazed by the Tyler's loyalty and coverage. He began to regret his betrayal and asked Arthur to attack him again. You can't eat me. I'm truly you pray. You can't. Come at you, stupid monkey. Then Frank left the cave. Listen carefully, Tyler. I have a long held back hunger. And finally I found you. And I eat you. Barnett and Ron got an idea about how to help Tyler. I have an idea, Ron. We have to be a great team. I will push a big rock over the cave and you enter the cave and distract the lion with a few jokes. How? Alright. Let's do it. Hey, very cool time. Look, don't be 
be so serious. I want to ask you something. Run, give the round of sign to Tyler. Tyler had fast feet to run, while starving Arthur could not run fast. Run, Tyler, run! Tyler ran out and Ron tried to reach Tyler's tail when Ron arrived in front of the cave. You can run away from me! Frank, with his ability to climb, pulled Ron to the top of the cave. Thank you, Frank. You are welcome, Ron. Before Arthur could go to the cave, Barnet rolled a large rock with his strength. Feel you, cruel lion. Then the lion died. Friends, I want to apologize for the amount. I have been evil to you and I should not do this. It doesn't matter, Frank. Doesn't everyone have a mistake? <laughs> you have to learn from your mistakes, okay? You'll always be our friend. Thank you guys, you are my best friends, how lucky am I that has best friends like you guys, I love you. They live in one environment and search for food together, they promise to remain harmonious and selfish, they live helping each other so they could live in harmony and peace.